Ever heard the one about the priest and the camel? No? Well, buckle up, because it's one wild ride. So, our story begins with a priest who decides to venture into the desert. Not your typical vacation destination, but who are we to judge? He strolls up to a local landlord who just so happens to have a camel rental service. Now this isn't your average camel. This camel comes with a unique set of voice commands. Poo and the camel walks. Poo poo and it breaks into a run. Amen. And it stops dead in its tracks. Our priest, a bit bewildered by these unusual driving instructions, nods along. Maybe he's thinking, well, that's one way to keep prayer on one's mind. So off our good priest goes, riding into the sunset on his newly rented camel, with nothing but the desert wind in his hair and the sand beneath his camel. Now things are going well until the priest sees a ravine up ahead. But oh no, he's forgotten how to stop the camel. Our priest now sweating bullets is in a real pickle. He's racing towards a ravine on a camel that's forgotten its brakes. So what does a man of the cloth do in such a dire situation? He prays, of course. As he's mumbling his Hail Marys and Our Fathers, he's also hoping for a little divine intervention. And just as he punctuates his prayer with a resounding Amen, the camel, as if heeding the divine command, skids to a halt. And how's this for precision? Just two centimeters shy of the ravine's edge. Now that's what I call divine GPS. Relieved, the priest breathes out a sigh of relief, exclaiming, Poo poo, that just went well. And, well, you can guess what happens next. The camel bolts off again, leaving us with a cliffhanger, or should that be ravine hanger, ending. Until next time, keep laughing.